when a domino beetle goes head to head with a crimson-legged assassin bug. It's caustic chemicals versus a surgical spear. So often in a tropical paradise, where there's beauty, there's danger. Predators stalk these petals. With a glossy black carapace and white spots, it's not hard to guess how the domino beetle got its name. This mean fighter comes from a family of belligerent beetles. They are good predators, and they'll do what it takes to get food, whether it's stealing food, pillaging food, or killing food. The domino is the hyena of the bug world, an unfussy carnivorous scavenger happy to chow down on any creature, living or dead. Its prey are mashed by mandibles that are more powerful than they seem. Although his mandibles are relatively small, they're general purpose, and they pack a much stronger punch than they look like they do. Should an attacker persist, then it's all out chemical warfare. When threatened, the domino sprays a noxious secretion. It's a combination of formic acid, which burns, and hydrocarbons that are really stinky, so he just smells really bad. The domino beetle is also fast and fidgety, unable to stand still. But that sometimes lands him in trouble when he finds himself near a potential foe. The crimson-legged assassin bug is a mortal enemy. With its chunky red legs, ungainly body, and elephantine proboscis, this bug is, let's face it, no oil painting. There are some researchers at Arizona State University who hold an annual event called the Ugly Bug Contest. One year, it was won by an assassin bug. This mean guy likes to win ugly, too. Massive forelegs like baseball bats, club prey into submission. And that huge proboscis injects toxic saliva that kills almost instantly. And at all times, those bulbous compound eyes are on the lookout. Though the domino beetle doesn't know it, it's wandered into danger. What happens when the hyena clashes with the hitman? Even though the assassin bug is the only dedicated predator in this chance meeting, the domino beetle still knows how to fight, and his mandibles are quite hardcore. So, anything could happen. Next, a fight to the death in the rainforest flowers. Then, an all-terrain tank takes on a flesh-eating leopard. Amid the rainforest flowers, a battle is about to begin. A carnivorous domino beetle, scavenging for food, wanders into danger. A ravenous crimson-legged assassin bug on the hunt has an appetite for fresh beetle. The domino beetle has crushing mandibles, tough armor, and a noxious chemical spray. The assassin bug has club-like legs and a harpoon proboscis that injects lethal toxins. Which combatant will survive? The hyperactive domino beetle has stumbled into trouble. 
Its movement has attracted the assassin. At the last moment, the domino sidesteps a deadly blow. This domino beetle ought to avoid that assassin bug, but it's such a hyperactive animal, I don't think it's gonna back off. The domino returns. This time, the assassin makes the first move and gets a nasty surprise. A burning, stinking chemical cloud sends it reeling. That's like being sprayed right in the face with a can of mace. It's gotta hurt. But it doesn't mean that he's given up on turning that beetle into lunch. The beetle's bought itself a little time. But the effects of the noxious spray soon wear off. The assassin bug launches a ferocious attack. This time, There'll be no chemical counter-strike. In the blink of an eye, the domino falls. Once this beetle has been injected with the highly toxic saliva of the assassin bug, it doesn't have a chance to respond. It's all over for this beetle. It hasn't been the easiest hit, but at last the victor can relax. The assassin's work is done, and the hyperactive domino has made its last move.